I love this app. In this video, I'm going to tell you about my absolute favorite to-do list app. Without further waiting, my favorite to-do list app is Tick Tick. So after exploring tons of other apps, you know, Evernote, Google Tasks, and Asana, which I still use Asana, but as, I'm, I'm going to get into that in a bit. Because I do use Asana, I use Asana every single day. My business is actually run on Asana. But my favorite personal to-do list app is Tick Tick, and here's why. It's just so simple, it's convenient, it has every single thing that I need to actually get my work done. It's free, which is unbelievable. After exploring tons of other to-do list apps over the years, this one actually has every single thing that I need. And of course, you can unlock some features um, with Premium. This video is not really about doing a full review of the app. I'm just going to share some key features that I use daily. These are features that actually make me love the app. And I really don't think I'll, I'll need to go premium for this app. So first of all, this app is, as I said, very simple. You can be on, your, on the road in the car and just simply get a thought, get an idea, or just remember something that you need to do and just record it. So if you know anything about the GTD system, Getting Things Done system, which is a book that I recommend, by the way, it's a book by David Allen. One of the things that he talks about is something called the inbox, which is basically your, your, your dump, you know, where you offload all the ideas that you have in mind. And he emphasized in the book that your brain is not for storing things, but more so for processing things. So we should always use something external and something that is convenient. So of course, most of us keep our smartphones with us all the time. So in my opinion, it's one of the best places to have your to-do list as opposed to even a book even though if a book works for you then by all means work with that so you would record all that you have to do in that book in your inbox so the the app it seems like david allen actually designed this app because the app aligns so much with his system and you should check that system out and i'll in fact i'll do a video on that and, and share it here but you have the inbox you can put it put yourself in the inbox and then of course you can then decide when you want to do it so once you have the ideas in your inbox a list of things you can then set a date on them and then that would go into your today's tasks or any other day so if it's today if you set it to the current day it will automatically show up in a section that has your today tasks so we go into into the relevant sections but let me tell you about a feature that every other app that I've explored, this feature is actually a paid feature for almost all of them. And this is the only to-do list app that I see with this feature that is absolutely free. And that feature is reminders. So you can actually set reminders in Tick Tick and it actually alarms. So let's say I have a meeting tomorrow at say 11.30. I can literally go in the app, create a task, I need to meet with John, put the topics that I need to discuss with John, all, all sorts of stuff. Just outline my meeting with John and then set a date and time and Tick Tick will actually alarm and remind me. I can set it to remind me five minutes before, 10 minutes before it varies. I can set it to alarm. Every other app that I see that has this feature, it's a premium feature. I actually have to pay for the app before you can actually use that feature so another feature that i love about tick tick is the pomo and of course i did not say porno pomo p-o-m-o -O. so if you know about the pomodora system it's basically a way to study well it was originally developed to study i need to remember the name of the person that actually came up with it but there's this cool guy that came up with this system he created it to make his study process more efficient and productive so basically what he said that you should study in in 25 minutes sessions and then take a short five minute break so by default the system says study four in four sec sessions 25 minutes five minute break 25 minutes five minute break 
and you repeat that four times and on the last one then you will take a longer break about um 20 minutes i did not know that tick tick actually has that feature built into it so it has a section well so you can literally just put the face down so it's literally counting down right now you can hear it <laughs> really cool you can actually go into what tick tick calls a focus mode where it actually uses the same Pomodoro system to help you to stay on, on track with the task that you have, which I absolutely love. So when I thought that I could not love this app anymore, this app became much more lovable when I discovered the Pomodoro system that is actually built into it. It also has a stopwatch. So another thing that I absolutely love about TikTok is the ability to create and save templates so you can actually create task templates that you can reuse over and over again so for example me creating youtube videos so i have a particular structure that i work with when creating youtube videos so i'll create a title i'll create the talking points i'll have a section that i put like the the b-roll shots the supporting shots and other things so for me that's super helpful and so instead of always having to remember the different things that goes into the creation of a youtube video by creating a template once i have a youtube idea i add a task and then i create a task from a template and then all i need to do is just fill in the different sections and i see how that would be useful for many persons so i think templates are really powerful and you know it's something that amazes me with tick tick i do not see this feature in many other to-do list applications and it's in tick tick for free another thing to mention is that the app synchronizes across all platforms so i could be on my phone creating tasks and then jump on my computer and continue with the task or be reminded on the computer and that's another thing regarding the reminder system if you set a reminder on your phone it will also remind you on the computer so if you're on the computer you'll see notification on windows on mac you'll actually see alarm beep and a reminder comes out with the task that you have to do which is absolutely amazing if you're struggling with getting things done staying organized with the tasks that you have to do you know you just want to ramp up your productivity maybe 5x 10x 4x 3x 20x your productivity i would recommend that you work with a to-do list app and my favorite to-do list app is this tick tick and earlier i mentioned um asana and i tried using asana for my personal task and i found that asana was a bit too complex it's it's not meant for for that streamlined way of working asana is really meant for collaboration um projects larger projects and projects that has parts and multiple persons in it every single day i use asana and i don't think asana is ideal as a personal to-do list app this tick tick is absolutely amazing for it you know so go check it out also check out getting things done by david allen by learning about the gtd system you will also develop a, a more strategic approach to how you actually go about managing the different tasks that you have because believe me tasks can really become a lot especially for me i'm an entrepreneur i'm a family man i have a lot of errands to run i have a lot of projects personal projects house related projects you know that that i have to deal with and you know if if if, if you don't get organized with the tasks that you have you'll quickly find out that you not get them done and then you'll start to run behind with the things that you need to get done so check it out check out tick tick love this app and if you found value in this video of course drop us a comment drop us a like drop us a subscribe and until next time peace out